looking at ways to make it easier and more interesting to learn your nine times tables. This is a really popular method. Hold your hands out in front of you like this. If you want to stick or write numbers on each finger accordingly, that's fine if that helps you to do this. Starting with three times nine. We're times in nine by three, so we put down the third finger. On the left side of the finger you've put down will be the number of tens you have, and on the right side of the finger you've put down will be the number of ones you have. So on the left side, how many tens? One, two. So it's going to be twenty something. On the right side, how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. Two tens and seven ones is twenty-seven, and three times nine is twenty-seven. Let's try one more, just so that you can see it works. Seven times nine. We're multiplying nine by seven, so we're going to put down the seventh finger. On the left side of that seventh finger, we have the number of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six tens. And how many ones? One, two, three. Six tens and three ones. That's sixty-three. Seven times nine is sixty-three. Have a go at a few more, see how you get on. Something else that's interesting about counting in steps of nine. The first one is nine. 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. One of the first things you might notice is that in the ones column, we start at 9, and then the next multiple of 9 goes down 1, until you get to 10 times 9, where the 1 is a 0. In the tens column, there's nothing in the first one, so we're just going to put a 0 in there from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 and the tens go up 1 each time up to 10 times 9. Another pattern that's quite interesting if we look at the first product and compare it with 10 times 9 you'll notice that the digits have been reversed 0 9 and 9 0. If we look at the second number 18 and the second last number 81. Again, the digits have been reversed. The third one, 27, and the third from the bottom, 72. The fourth one, 36, and the fourth from the bottom, 63, until we get to the two at the middle, 45 and 54. Another really interesting thing about the multiples of 9 from 1 times 9 to 10 times 9. If we treat the 10 and the unit of each number as a separate digit and add them together, we get 9. 1 and 8 is 9. 2 and 7 is 9. 3 and 6 is 9. And that carries on all the way down to 10 times 9. Some children like doing a little investigation based on this last point. We've looked so far from 1 times 9 to 10 times 9 Let's look at the products from 11 times 9 to 20 times 9. You might notice again that in the ones the digits go from 9 to 0, going down 1 each time. In the tens, this time it starts with the 9, goes back to the 0, but then carries on going up 1. If we add the two digits in 99, 9 and 9 is 18. For the rest of them, we separate the ones from the tens and hundreds. So 10 add 8 is 18. 11 add 7 is 18. 12 and 6 is 18. And so on, until we get to 20 times 9, where we have 18 plus nothing is 18. Remember that 9 is the first multiple of 9, and 18 is the second multiple of 9. The third multiple of 9 is 27. Can you predict what might happen to the products of 21 times 9 up to 30 times 9? Here are the products. 
Again, you might notice the patterns with the 9 to 0 in the 1s column and the same pattern in the 10s, this time starting with the 8, 9 and then back to 0. Adding the digits together, 18 add 9 is 27, 19 and 8 is 27 and that carries on all the way down to 30 times 9. If your child likes doing investigations, have a look at what might happen to the products of 31 times 9 up to 40 times 9. Maybe try 41 times 9 to 50 times 9, as many as you like.